Yes, yes people, with it too fear, I'm here to announce that I'm playing on a 23 degrees and locked on event. 31st of May at Village Underground. There's one at the moment, it's called Roots and Culture by Merka. Yeah, absolute banger. It's like a little war pass, speed garage one. Goes off every time I play it, so yeah. Always like been around music, mum and dad big, ravers back in the day, growing up with like turntables and vinyl in the house and stuff, so it's always been like a natural sort of thing for me to go into and then yeah, got into production about 13, 14, started making like hip hop stuff and then gradually transitioned into garage and jungle and that and then yeah, here I am today, so. After this tune, probably be, I'm going to say either Belfast or Orgul. Future Sound of London, Papua New Guinea. <laughs> laptop, laptop charger, that's a bundle, they come together. A football, a notebook, moisturiser, deodorant. Seville was definitely up there, that was amazing. Pandora, and that just went off, it was massive as well. We stayed there after for a couple of days and seeing the city and food was good, people were good, so yeah man. The most annoying thing about DJing is the lack of routine, for me anyway. I like to try and go to bed at the same sort of time, wake up at the same time and get in like a bit of a structure, but then again it's like, I get to go and do something I love doing, so it's bittersweet. I'm a counter. Pyramid spawn built by humans. Classic. When it comes to albums, I'm like a big hip-hop head. That's where I go to, to listen to like an album front to back, so I'd probably say either Ready to die, Biggie Smalls. Or only got for Cuban links by Raekwon. After that, I'm shooting downtown. I'm rocking hats and your wig is all intact. Who's that queen? I just feel like that kind of shaped my musical taste in a way, especially production wise after listening to those and I've grown up on those as a kid. That's definitely my first point of reference when I first started making music, dropping out breaks and samples and just like gritty raw sounds and stuff. For me it's quite nostalgic and I think the scene is very like community driven which is good. Everyone sort of looks out for each other and supports each other and don't want to say other genres don't have that but where I'm not a part of other genres I can say that about garage. That's probably my favourite thing when it comes to garage music. I have no idea. Like, football was like always my passion growing up, but that's so hard to do, so I definitely wouldn't be that, and I weren't good enough to be football. Either. I'm gonna say, like, somewhere in the creative space, I like to think anyway. Bulletproof <laughs> is a character in Guy Ritchie's film Snatch. What do you know? Still warm, the blood that courses through my veins. I've always just liked the name, always loved the film, it's a classic, grabs your attention in a way. And it's also so hard to pick a name, so I just like that and thought, yeah, I'm gonna run with it, you know what I mean? Loads of people that I'm excited about. In Garage, I think Buckley is sick. Love what he's doing. Soul Mass is amazing. Main phase and Silver Bump, obviously. Dogs all day. Spring, summer, gotta be. Fabric. I think for London, that is the mecca of nightclubs, isn't it, really? Always good night in there. This is so boring, like pepperoni, I think. That is so basic, isn't it? Glastonbury, I think, would be amazing. Doing the boiler room. Yeah, and just touring in the world. Good fellas. Classic. The lineups, unbelievable. Scorsese at his best. I think at the moment, I'd definitely say playing art is such the first time making tunes. You can make the tune, and that's cool, and that's like, you can be gassed about it, but actually playing that song out, like when I was just on tour recently, I was making tunes in a hotel and then playing them out the same night, and get like an instant, honest reaction. I think buzz, man, gets me, gets me going there. Yeah. My rider is so boring, I'm gonna say smoothies. Any sort of smoothie, really, mango, innocent smoothie, I'm pretty open. There'll be a few, but I'm gonna say, Tracy in my room, lazy dog bootleg, or oh, everything but the girl. Big chain. This is so random. Denzel Washington, Leonardo DiCaprio, and maybe Jay-Z. 
I feel like I might need someone in a, like a Liam Gallagher to get the party going. Hopefully one of them will be paying for a chef because I don't think I'll be cooking up anything decent. Yes, people, I've been Bullet Tooth. Thanks for watching and listening. Make sure you buy a ticket to the 23 Degrees and Locked On event at Village Underground. And I look forward to seeing you there. Nice one.